officially welcome you to the wedding ceremony of Georgia and Alvin. You're all proud to call them friends, some are lucky enough to call them family. Regardless of which one you are, it's an honour to be in their presence and to share in this special day. Georgia, will you take Alvin to be your husband? to honour and cherish him in times good and bad for the rest of your life. Yes. Alvin. <laughs> Either works. Alvin, I now ask, will you take Georgia to be your wife to honour and cherish her in times good and bad for the rest of your life? I do. Oh, I wonder do I do? I do. <laughs> Thank you both. It's now time for the personalised vows. And Georgia, if you'd like to go first. Alvin, you know I'm fairly indecisive. The thought of deciding between a Prosecco and a Pinot over dinner makes me nervous. There is one thing that I know though, with absolute certainty, no hesitations or questions, is that I love you wholeheartedly and I will continue doing so forever. I love the father you are to our sweet baby. <laughs> you are the most amazing, precious, beautiful man I've ever met in my life and I just adore you. I wrote these vows while you and Arlo are asleep in his room. I know that you are not in the most comfortable position and that your right arm is probably numb. This is just but one example of how you constantly prove what an amazing person and mother you are, sacrificing your own comfort for the sake of others. I would like to make a promise to you in front of our most special people that I will love you for eternity. And while we may face our challenges, and by that I mean my tantrums, I will continue loving you and we will always be together. I thank the universe and you for making my dreams come true. So Georgia, this is what I promise you. I promise to always support your dreams and ease those impromptu anxieties, to join you and to share all that is to come, to give and to receive, to speak and to listen, I promise to always look for our next adventure and always dance by your side. 
you are the love of my life and I promise that I will never change. You were made for me. So I promise to always show my love and gratitude. So ladies and gentlemen, Georgia and Alvin, it is with tremendous pleasure I now pronounce you husband and wife. Make us a Today, we celebrate and witness the wedding of Alvin and Georgia. Nothing, not even a pandemic, can stop true love. I'd just like to raise a toast to my best friend and her best friend. George and Alvin, may your lives always be fulfilled, have the same dreams, be in love, and most of all, kiss goodnight before you go to sleep. Georgia, I'm so, so happy that you found your soulmate. I truly believe Alvin has found what he's been searching for. I needed to be with Georgia. Her brightness and love was too powerful. I love you. I'm so forever lucky and grateful that I found you and I jumped. So thank you, Mrs. Georgia Luca Novoloso for being my wife.